Hi guys, in this recipe video you will learn how to make sweet and sour pokery at home, really easy to prepare and so tasty. For this recipe we are going to use 500 grams of pork cubes, we have removed the fat and we are going to marinate them. So for marinade use 1 teaspoon salt, sprinkle it over pork pieces and along with salt we are going to add ginger garlic paste 1 tablespoon turmeric 1 teaspoon and red chili powder half a teaspoon so sprinkle all these spices and then thoroughly rub them over pork pieces so that they are well coated with these spices and we are going to let pork marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes while the pork is marinating let's make our masala so heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil in a wok or in a pan and add one small chopped onion and bell peppers of your choice. I'm using red. You can also use green or yellow or orange. We are going to saute our onions and bell peppers for about two minutes. Once they are thoroughly coated with the oil and have become a little soft, we'll go ahead and add our sauces. So really simple, we are going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce so just add it on one tablespoon of vinegar i'm using pure white vinegar here so add one tablespoon of that and one tablespoon of tomato ketchup you can use any brand of your choice so just add these three ingredients and stir them along with onions and bell peppers then let your onions cook now while the onions and Bell peppers are cooking. Cut your pineapple. I have chopped some fresh pineapple cubes here that we have added and we are going to caramelize the pineapple. So give it another two to three minutes. And while the pineapple is cooking, we'll go ahead and fry our pork pieces. So all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed in this wok and in, an, in another pan heat two to three tablespoons of oil and just pan fry your pork pieces that were marinating with various spices now usually in sweet and sour pokery pork is deep fried but i prefer to pan fry them you can deep fry it if you like and once the pork has become a little brown it has changed color turn the heat off because it can easily dry out so our onions and bell peppers pineapple is all ready now we are going to add one cup of water you can skip adding water and have a drier version but we like eating our pork with rice so we add water to have a curry like consistency so adding the pork in and adding the water in this pan so that all the masala can be poured in the curry now just putting the water in the wok half a teaspoon of salt adjusting the salt here if you're not adding extra water you don't have to add any extra salt so bring the water to boil mix all the ingredients once the water comes to a boil your pork curry is ready but to thicken up the curry what we are going to do is take one fourth cup of water and add one tablespoon of cornstarch mix the cornstarch and water well so that there are no lumps once you have everything mixed together go ahead and pour this mixture in your curry and everything will come together curry will thicken up you can see it's already thickening up and upon standing it's gonna thicken up a little bit more so now your pork curry is ready go ahead pour it on rice we are using fried rice or eat it with bread of your choice or eat it along with noodles with chow mein so hope you like this recipe video and will share the recipe with friends and family and for more recipe ideas please don't forget to subscribe to etstinin channel see you soon thank you